Welcome to DBeaver's YouTube channel. CloudBeaver's data editor functionality is not only limited to editing a table in grid mode, its capabilities are extended by the grouping panel. In this panel, you can analyze data from any table to access and work on at a later date, and compose a query using interface elements rather than manually writing it. There are algorithmic functions in this feature for such tasks. Today, we're going to explore ways on how to use the grouping panel in our browser-based tool. This function allows you to modify text and numeric data. The panel provides the tools to calculate statistics based on data from a table. Instead of traditional SQL query writing, the user only needs to move the required data to the panel. The grouping panel is based on group by queries. That is, all actions in this feature are based on this operator. Count and other analytical functions allow you to achieve the goal of converting previously grouped unique values from the columns. These functions, in turn, display the results of working with data from the table directly on the panel. Let's look at examples of how to use the grouping panel in the data editor. The panel can help if you want to know how many and what the repeated values in the same column are. This is handy if you have a column of orders from specific email addresses. In this case, you can use count to find out how many you have sold to each client. Also, this feature of CloudBeaver will help you find out which country's customers bring you the most business. Suppose this time, you need to find out from an existing table through which partner shops your customers most often approach you. This table contains data on each customer's sales numbers and the name of the supplier who provided them with your product. First, you need to open the grouping panel on the right side and then drag and drop the necessary column into it. In this example, we're moving the partner name's data there. Then, in the panel itself, you can sort the count from largest to smallest to see which shops have brought in the most customers. Unlike the count data aggregator, the grouping panel analytical functions only use numeric values. Let's take the example of sum. It summarizes the values in all cells of one or more columns while grouping them by the column covered by count. You'll notice that one column will contain all the names of the partners and the other will contain the sum of all the orders of your products from each of the shops. Other functions work similarly in this panel. AVG counts the average value, min shows the minimum and max, respectively, the maximum. You don't need to drag and drop the conditional total column with the customer's order amounts, as the data is already grouped by the column with the partner's names, which is much smaller than their purchases. However, even without adding a column with numerical data, you can perform all data analytics directly in the panel. For example, you can find out the largest and smallest order from each partner, as well as the total and average volume. To do this, Click on the Configure button in the bottom panel's toolbar. The top tab of the context window shows the selected columns, and the bottom tab shows the applied functions with the columns and brackets. By default, there's also only count here. You can type max, min, sum, and AVG in the input window with the numeric column in brackets. As you can see, you can get a result set of six columns in case you want to know all the analytical data and the number of customers. If you don't need any of the parameters, you can remove them in the Configure menu of the panel. The Grouping panel has an Export button in the bottom toolbar. And after the work is done, you can download the results in any convenient format, for example, to send it to your colleagues. Today we showed you how to work with the new panel in CloudBeaver and work with analytics without writing an SQL query. On our YouTube channel, you can find a playlist with videos about different features of our browser-based tool. Thanks for watching the grouping panel video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.